We first introduced you to Bob Luce last August. Bob spends his days picking up litter in the Hillsborough River, and he does it from his kayak. Every month, this amounts to hundreds of gallons of trash. But as Storm Teammate meteorologist Brooks Garner found out today, the trash problem is not getting any better. And now, there's a new concern. Like many, Bob Luce enjoys his golden years of retirement on the water. I love the water, and I love to kayak on the water. I love to go down and see the wildlife. I love to do photography. But he does so with a purpose, pulling out countless pieces of garbage. Unfortunately, what he cleans up is completely replaced by new trash within a week. Well, it's, it's constant. I mean, I mean it's, it's constant. The wind blows litter into the river. And the water also pushes it into the river. When it rains, the water just comes down the road and then turns, goes downhill, goes right out that ditch and into the river. There's no grade. No There's story. nothing. There's nothing here to stop it. And this is, Should I guess, be? I think so. I called the Department of Public Works today and found that grates were not installed for fear of street flooding and car accidents if they were blocked by trash. Now, who's screaming about it? Who's complaining? But maybe we should. Well, this Hillsborough River is primary drinking water source for Tampa. And while all of the trash is, of course, filtered out, even most of the germs, some of the chemicals in garbage is not. Plastic water bottles have um, BPA, bisphenol A, it's a chemical which is a uh, messes around with hormones, in particular kind of an estrogen mimicker. When plastics slowly break down, they can release this dangerous chemical. Well, there's a, there is some evidence that humans are affected, including possible weight gain issues. On a lighter note, while Bob's efforts may get erased with every rain or windstorm, the positive example he's setting his lasting mark. Keep Tampa Bay Beautiful tells me he's been dedicated to this project for four years. I know that his actions influence others and especially the volunteers with Key Tampa Bay Beautiful, when they see someone of his statue, of his age, of his, his commitment to the community, it's amazing. It makes me feel great. It makes me feel wonderful to, to do that because I feel like I did something good. Great statistics. Get this. Bob has spent over 700 hours of his personal time cleaning up the trash on the river. And during that time, he's collected 430 large trash bags. The grand total for this retiree, he's removed over 20,000 pounds of garbage from our drinking water supply. That is amazing when you think of numbers. I it's mean, amazing if you think of it as drinking water. And doing that hard, yeah, yeah but wait, wait, it's <laughs> well, yeah. So But I mean, a guy working that hard, what can other people do to kind of help him out? Right, and it's a really good question. A lot of people want to know. Bob says, hey, as simple as getting out there, helping to clean up, but watch out for alligators, mud, stinging insects, but really, it's something we can all do. Just don't throw stuff out the window when you're driving down the car. Try and secure trash cans on trash days so that wind and cars going by don't blow that back onto the road, because bottom line, whatever's on the road will end up back in the waterways next time we have a thunderstorm. Yeah. He's cleaning up everybody else's mess. Hats off to him for that. Amen.